very quick workshop tip i'm sure pretty much everyone knows about this but i've thought that before and people have said i didn't know that so here we go now just occasionally i have uh, a need to um, repair or restore small bolts normally to do with the model steam engines but nowadays also to do with the air rifles that i that i work on now the problem with a small bolt is, and I'll give you an idea, there's, there's my hand. So you can see that that's quite a small bolt, right? Now, it's very difficult to be able to hold that any way in the lathe. It's too small to go even into an ER16 collet backwards so that you could machine the front end. And the reason you might want to do this is, I mean, this is a new bolt, but with an old vintage bolt, it may well be that you want to use the bolt, but the thread's all chewed up. So you you can get away with using a smaller nut so if you could turn the thread down you could recut it and put another nut on still retaining the use of the old finished bolt in this particular case what we have here is uh, a uh, new bolt that i made for a, a daisy training rifle that i'm restoring and being a complete dickhead i cut the wrong thread on the end <laughs> what that thread should be is 10 24 unc and i cut a 12 24 unc so all I need to do is just to take that down a little tiny bit and then recut it with the right die and it'll be fine. But how do you hold it? This is the problem. You can't hold it in, in a conventional chuck. You can't hold it in a collet because it's too small and because it has the head on it. So, okay, you could make a brand new one, but it seems a shame to waste this. So what do we do? Well, the simplest way I've found of doing this, and it works really well, is to get a bit of old round bar stock. I've got a bit of an aluminium uh, bar stock here. Drill a hole in it so that the bolt is a good fit through the middle of it. Use a little bit of drop of Loctite, let it set. Then you can hold this in a collet and then you can work on the thread end of the bolt and that 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 actually works quite well. So we'll pop the uh, now Loctited bolt and it's uh, temporary mandrel we'll stick that into the uh, lathe and get that tightened up and then we can turn down the threads hopefully now i've only got to take 16 thou off of this so it's only going to be a very light cut i'll probably do it in a couple of cuts actually but uh, hopefully the loctite will hold and we'll be able to turn the thing down <laughs> It's not running quite true, but that's, this doesn't need to be super accurate. We're just making it slightly smaller so that I can cut a new thread. So this time I've actually got the right die nut in there. So hopefully we can recut the thread to what it's supposed to be. Let me just check that. Yeah, I think we're there. Right, there we go. <laughs> now we have the correct size thread on the end of the bolt and the uh, it held really nicely in the uh, makeshift mandrel. And I'll just apply a little bit of heat to that and we should be able to remove the bolt. Right, we'll just apply some heat and hopefully break the Loctite free. Shouldn't take much. There we go. Oh, I don't really want that on the uh, worktop. worktop. Oh. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, you've got a perfectly good. Uh, the uh, excess Loctite will clean off of the uh, off of the bolt perfectly okay, and now it's got the right thread on it. So, just a quick little tip: if you ever need to do this, um, 
I find this works really, really well. You say that it's all the Loctite held. Now, okay, I was only taking light cuts. You don't want to go into anything really viciously because obviously the Loctite will give up, you know, if you put too much of a load on it. But for this, no, it works perfectly. So there you go, quick little workshop tip. As always, thanks for watching. Cheers.